Good day, everyone. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. It's Monday. Hi, stepping into Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are. Um, it's Dan Dempster's birthday today. So happy birthday to Bone Daddy, the king of the fucking lo-fi... The king of lo-fi. <laughs> the man whose microphones put the wind into the sails in my music. Um, I've been sitting here trying to make a video for the last half hour. Um... Trying to talk about, trying to include, do a talk about Dan, his role in my life, and show showcase every single microphone that he's ever sent me. But I I don't have enough time in a video to do that. So I'm kind of trying to channel Dan right now, and I'm just thinking, settle down, young man, settle down. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it done. You know, and uh, yeah, I first met Dan Dempster. First, I want just want to say happy birthday, Dan. Happy birthday. Hope you have many more. Uh, you're 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 huge to me, brother. You're huge to me. Um, Dan has been Dan. Dan and I met through YouTube uh, when I first started making videos. Um, I got, when I first started using a video editor and making these lo-fi, uh, you can still see them. They're all still up. Uh, these lo-fi cigar box guitar videos and stuff like that. Um, uh, Dan would, I don't know, I guess they showed up in his algorithm cause he's a cigar box guitar player too. And, uh. So he would, he he was one of the first people to interact with me on my channel, you know, if not the first. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, we just kind of got to knew, know each other a little bit. Uh, he watched my vlogs. He, he said to me once, he's like, uh, he called me as his brother who he's never met, but he feels like he knows me, <laughs> something like that, and, uh, you know, that's pretty cool, um, you know, there's been times in my life since I've known Dan, when I've been really down on my, uh, on what I do with my music, and, uh, he, you know, he's always been the one to remind me of, uh, He's like, remember what you've done, man. Remember, you know, things I need to remember and uh, to regain my self-confidence, you know. I'll never forget, I'll never forget, uh, there's one chat we had in particular about that, and, then I'll, and I'll never forget that, Dan. That was uh, very, very motivating to me. Um it's all cryptic, eh? Nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Dan might not even know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyhow, shortly after uh, we we became friends, um, we you know we hooked up on Facebook. I got him in the warehouse of strangers. Um, you know, uh, he shortly after he asked me. He he was starting to. I don't know if he was starting to, but. For some reason, he asked me to represent his uh, lo-fi harmonica microphones uh, as a as an indoor C, and uh, I, you know, I can't like that's one of my proudest achievements in my musical career is is uh, having a gear sponsorship <laughs> that from a company that I'm one hundred percent behind, you know. Um, 
Dan's built me some amazing microphones, you know. Usually he works in kind of two worlds. He works in these, uh, like, this these tube-type things. This plastic thing, it looks like a cane tip, kind of. Um, this is called a honker. And it's uh, basically meant to make the microphone more comfortable, give you better grip on it. It's ten bucks. It kind of like if you if you notice, I got the it kind of protruding over the microphone there. It gives it it gives it a better tone, you know. Um, yeah. So you know, this is this is actually the the most uh, recent thing that he sent me, I believe. Um, this is basically what's flying off his shelves right now. I think they're about 50 bucks, 60 bucks with the honker, maybe. I don't know. It's a fucking good deal, though. I played uh, $350 Shure Bullet mics that, you know, this, this fucking sounds better than, than the one I used to have, you know? <laughs> um... I, you know, I played all kinds of microphones throughout the time I started, you know, since I started playing harmonica, um, you know, all kinds of lo-fi stuff, like Radio Shack used to sell these little, mic little black microphones, I used to love them, um, I wish Radio Shack was still around, these little wee black dynamic microphones, mm. you know, they made they made amazing lo-fi microphones, and they're very similar to what Dan does. You know, um, he also sent you know he sent me this bullet bullet style mic um, that he made called the Cans. He had tubes and cans, T O O B S and K A N Z. <laughs> um, this thing is just like a comes out it's just an adapter for court court i've never really used this but i keep it with it it's, it might be useful one day um and he also sent me i'm very honored to own this i don't know how many of these he made not very many uh the very rare uh copper cans copper is my favorite uh metal and uh this is just a beauty and the tone is gorgeous off this um He sent me this this little monster, this little Bulletini mic, which is, uh, the design of it is amazing. I don't know where he got this casing from, um, but this is this is a devil. <laughs> it's like, you plug it in and it screams at you, like feedback-wise. It's a very feedbacky mic, but it does have its place, and I have used it. <laughs> it's great. Um... Dan, Dan and I were throwing around the idea of making a, a dip can microphone. Um, you know, he said, oh, he was like, you know, we could have a, the signature Pat Walsh dip can microphone, call it the Dirty Pat Walsh uh, Spit Biscuit. And this was the prototype he made off a can of Grizzly. Um, we didn't pursue the idea because of copyright reasons. We couldn't use actual dip cans. Um... Cool idea, nonetheless. Uh, there's there's no sound holes in here, like no mic, no obvious place to blow into. But what you do is you basically hold it like this, with the harmonica behind it, and uh, you hit the sweet. You just find the sweet spot. And it sounds like a dragon. It's fucking awesome. And uh, this is an absolute pride and joy of mine. Uh, Hillary found a, a little snuff can. In a, at a flea market and mailed it to Dan and uh, Dan made me this little monster out of it this is a great sounding microphone it's made of an old made of an old uh, powdered snuff can this is a uh, great volume control it's got the aged patina on it it's very nice um, yeah this is a great mic fantastic um, I played it in a recent video, but, uh, you know, Dan's not all, Dan's n not all microphones, uh, to me. 
<laughs> Dan's a good friend, um, a trusted ally, um, a brother, you know. Uh, I got a lot of love for Dan Dempster. So, so happy birthday, man. Um, I hope it's great, you know. Uh, I don't know what the weather's like out, out there, but here it's pretty miserable, so... And I know there's a big storm going on or something, but uh, I hope you're I hope you're warm. I hope you're safe. I hope you're feeling great. And uh, yeah, happy birthday, dude! You're you're awesome. Uh, so yeah, fucking fire up the comments with uh, birthday greetings to Bone Daddy, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Be well, stay free, and uh, always be the best you, you can be. All right. Peace, man.